Hi, today I will be giving you a list of important environment science topics which may help you to get a good score in your upcoming 2021 prelims examination. All the topics which I am going to discuss is based on the current affairs. We know that in recent times UPSC is asking questions related to current affairs. So I will be discussing important environment science topics from 2020 January onwards. Those all topics we will cover in our current affairs plus program. And I will also give you some important topics from 2018 onwards also. Okay, because we know that UPC is asking questions from current affairs, not only from the last year, they may also ask questions from the previous current affairs. So I will be giving the important topics from 2020 to 21 and also the past years from 2018 and 19 also. Okay, before going to the topic, please download the Neo IAS app by clicking the link given below where you can get the free study materials. Now moving on to the topic. So, we can divide the environment science topics into animals, plants, Indian organizations, international organizations and international agreements or treaties, then pollution related topics, uh, protected areas that were in use. These are some areas from where UPC is asking questions. So, I am going to categorize the current affairs into this list. So, in this video, I am only discussing about the current affairs topics. Okay. I'm, I won't be discussing about any concept topics. For example, I won't be discussing about ecosystem, biodiversity, ecotone, ecology, okay, this all concept you have to study and also there are some famous or world renowned organizations like UNEP, UN, WWF, IUCN and some treaties like UNFCC, uh, Convention on Biological Diversity, okay, these all things you have to study because these all are must topics you have to study, right, so I am not going to discuss about those all conventional organization and the concept. Okay, so I will be discussing about the topics which were in news only. Okay, the remaining concept parts you have to study. Now moving on to the topic, first area is animals. So UPSC is asking continuously questions from the animals area. Okay, so last year they asked a question from the elephant. Earlier they asked about uh, Karai camel, right. So like that they are asking questions from the animals part. So the main points you have to study regarding animals are, if it is an endangered species, and also if it is an endemic species, you have to study the location. You have to know the location of that animal. Okay. So endemism you know, right? The animal may be confined to some particular geographical area. Right. So you need to know whether it is an endemic species or endangered. Right. So you have to know the location. After that, you have to know if it is having any special features. For example, that Karai camel was the only camel capable of swimming. Right. So like that, if that animal or the bird is having any special feature, you have to know about it. Okay, then you need to know the threats of that animal and after that you have to know the conservation status. For example, the schedule list of that animal. Okay, UPSC is asking statements regarding the schedule of that animal. Okay, for example, regarding the Degong animal, they asked whether that animal is listed in the schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act. Okay, so these are the main points you have to study regarding an animal. Okay, so these are the animals which were in news. First of all, pangolin. Now, this pangolin was in news because the Odisha government, they are tracking the trading and poaching of the pangolin through the social media platforms. That's why it was in news. Okay, so we need to know about the pangolins. What are the types of pangolins in India? Okay, so it is having Indian pangolin and Chinese pangolin. Like that information you have to know. Then golden lingur. So this golden lingur was in also in news because some studies shows that the golden lingur is also undergoing the forced abortion. Okay, so that's why it was in news. And also it was in news past years because this was the first species which was got a non-human beneficiary of the NGNR EGA 2005. Okay, that's why it was in news, right? So that's also important point regarding the golden lingur. So you need to know about the distribution of golden lingur, where it is found in India. Okay. Then charu mussel. Charu mussel is an invasive species. So you need to know about the concept of invasive species. What is invasive species? What is alien species? You have to study. Okay, because charu mussel is an invasive species to India, right? Mainly to the backwaters of Kerala. So that's why it was in news. Then comes the locust. There was news re regarding the attack of locust. Locust attack were there. Right. So you need to know what is locust, what class it belongs to and what are the effects of this locust on the agriculture like that. Okay. Then comes the cheetah. Okay. So we know that UPC already asked the question regarding the cheetah. The question was whether it is naturally occurring in India. Right. We know that it is an extinct species in India. Right. Now we are trying to reintroduce cheetah to India. Okay. As part of that, NTC is doing the work. And some institutes like the Wildlife Institute of India, they have done the habitat assessment of this cheetah. Okay. And they have predicted some landscape 
for the chitta conservation like the kunopalpur naurdehi sanctuary okay so you need to know about the chitta conservation programs okay and what are the major sites proposed for reintroducing the chitta okay then other animals like leopards step eagle great in bustard great in hornbill nilgiri tar this all were in news also okay so regarding the great in bustard you need to know what are the features of this great in bustard if any special feature is there you have to study the great in bustard is having some special feature it is mainly affected or it is facing mainly the threat due to the noise pollution okay so you need to know how the noise pollution is affecting the great indian bustard right now another animal is red panda so recent studies shows that there are two types of red pandas residing in the northeast okay so that's why the red panda was in news then saltwater crocodile gadiers gangetic river dolphin irrawaddy dolphin one horned rhino and white rhino okay so this white rhino was also there in news so you need to know what is the difference between one horned rhino and white rhino and you need to know whether white rhino is present in india okay upc they will give some list of animals and they will ask to find out which of the following or which of the animals given are naturally found in india okay so you need to know whether white rhino is present in india okay naturally found in india okay then other animals which were in news are eurasian otter dugong yellow tortoise olive red turtles okay so regarding eurasian otter you need to know what are the types of otter species and whether eurasian otter is found in india these kinds of fact you have to know right so these are the animals which were in news from january 2020 onwards okay after some times i will discuss about the animals which were in news in 2018 19 also right now coming to the plants the first species is maduka diplostemon so this maduka diplostemon it was believed to extinct around 180 years ago okay and it was rediscovered from the kerala after 180 years okay so that's why it was in news so you need to know about the maduka diplostemon right because it was thought to be extinct around 180 years ago okay now other plants are senna spectabilis and volami pines okay so senna spectabilis it was in news because it is an invasive species mainly found in the nilgiri area so senna spectabilis is invading the natural area of nilgiri region so that's why it was in news right so it's a invasive species then the volami pines you need to know what is this volami pine and where it is located okay so it's a species located or protected in the australia right it is not naturally found in india so you need to know about the volami pines right then some other topics related to natural vegetation are mewaki forest and shola forest okay so you need to know what is mewaki forest who invented this method of plantation okay and what is the advantage of this mewaki right then you need to know the shola forest in which part of india the shola forest located right so these are some topics associated with plants or natural vegetation which was news in 2020 right now the indian organization which were in news in 2020 is npc national tiger conservation authority wildlife crime control bureau national biodiversity authority animal welfare board of india central zoo authority genetic engineering appraisal committee central pollution control board environment pollution control authority compensatory appropriate fund management and planning authority so what are the main point you have to study regarding an organization is first point you have to study is whether it is a governmental organization or non governmental organization then second thing is if the organization is established under any law you need to know the law right so if this organization is a statutory body you have to know the law behind it for example the national tiger conservation authority is a statutory body why because it was established by the wildlife protection act 1972 then animal welfare board of india it's also a statutory body why because it was established under the prevention of cruelty to animals act 1960 then national biodiversity authority it's also a statutory body why because it was established under the biological diversity act 2002 right so like that you have to know whether it is a statutory body if it is a statutory body you have to know the law behind it okay then after that you have to know the functions of that organization okay for example national tiger conservation authority is to administer the project tiger or to establish and maintain the tiger reserves in india or to protect the tigers in india we are having tiger conservation authority right then the central zoo authority to coordinate and to maintain the zoo in india okay then the central pollution control body in order to deal with the pollution related things we are having central pollution control authority then for the afforestation programs we are having kemba authority right so like that you need to know the functions of that authority or the organization okay so this national tiger conservation authority ntca it was in news because supreme court have given note to ntca to reintroduce cheeta to india that's why it was in news right and this wildlife crime control bureau it was in news because the wildlife crime control bureau they busted they arrested wildlife smugglers 
okay they were smuggling some wild animals from bangladesh to kolkata so they have busted them that's why it was in news so this animal welfare board of india it was in news because they were conducting a survey on the condition of animals in the circus right that's why it was in news and the central zoo authority was in news because the environment ministry reconstructed this central zoo authority and this central pollution control board it was in news because the country's first e waste clinic was set up in bhopal regarding that it was in news right now the international organizations and agreements which were in news first one ramsar convention so india's ramsar site have been increased to 42 numbers right so that's why it was in news so the number of wetlands of international importance is increased in india to 42 right so that's why it was news so you need to know about what is ramsar convention and what is ramsar sites as part of that you also need to know about what is montrax record okay so you need to know the recent included ramsar sites and also you need to know the total ramsar sites okay then traffic was in news global environment facility foundation for environment education it was in news foundation for environment education was in news because india got around eight sites the status of blue flag certification and blue flag certification is a certification given to the marinas or beaches by the foundation for environment education so that's why it was in news okay so there are eight sites in india which got the blue flag certification okay so you need to know these eight sites right now this traffic was in news because the traffic have recorded an increase in wildlife poaching in india during the lockdown period okay that's why it was in news now the cms or bond convention or the convention on the conservation of migrant species of wild animals that is the bond convention the 13th meeting of this bond convention or cms was held in the gandhinagar so that's why it was in news right so you need to know about the treaty or agreement called as international agreement called as convention on the conservation of migratory species of wild animals okay then other environment initiatives which were news are stockholm convention on persistent organic pollutants uh, earth hour one planet city challenge was in news related to the earth hour okay so you need to know what is earth hour and what is this world planet city challenge and who conducts this earth hour okay that means wwf right so you need to know about sites iucn wwf peta okay so these are some organizations which were in news now regarding the topics related to pollution which were in news the first one is biomedical waste okay so biomedical waste was in news so that's why you need to know about what is this biomedical waste what is the definition for biomedical waste and you have to know the categorization of biomedical waste so there are categorization like yellow red white and blue right so you need to know the categorization of biomedical waste and what are the waste which are included in the yellow category red category blue category and white category you need to know about it okay and also you need to know about the biomedical waste management rules 2016 okay now next topic is suffer so suffer is a mobile based application for the pollution and weather forecasting right so it was in news then floating treatment wetland was in news okay you know to uh, some polluted lakes in india were treated with the technology or technique uh, floating treatment wetland and that floating treatment wetland was using the technique called as hydroponics technique okay so you need to know what is this floating treatment wetland and what is the hydroponics technique okay so these are techniques used to treat the polluted wetlands okay so hydroponics is simply soilless cultivation of plants is called as hydroponics so that were used in the floating treatment wetland okay in order to treat the polluted lakes then bioremediation was in news already upsc asked question regarding the bioremediation okay so it was also there in news recent times and there is a similar topic regarding the bioremediation called as phytoremediation so you need to study regarding phytoremediation okay so you need to know about what is phytoremediation and what is the difference between phytoremediation and bioremediation and what is the advantage of phytoremediation over the bioremediation okay then biocar was in news then national clean air program was in news then national river conservation plan so these are the topics which were in news associated with the pollution okay now here are the protected areas which were in news okay first of all ecological sensitive area was in news so regarding the western guard protection and regarding the uh, mother guardian report and custodian report you might have heard about this word ecologically sensitive area so you need to know what is this ecologically sensitive area which was in news then community reserve and conservation reserve was also there in news okay we know that upsc have already asked the question regarding wildlife sanctuaries national park and tiger reserves right and these three were declared under the provision of wildlife protection act 1972 right and there are two more protected areas which are declared under the wildlife protection act 1972 and that are community reserve and conservation reserve so till now upsc doesn't ask the question right so there is a high possibility of asking questions related to community reserve and conservation reserve so these two are protected areas 
which are declared under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. So this conservation reserve was in use because the Maharashtra government, they have declared the Tillari forest as a conservation reserve. That's why it was in use. Now another topic is UNESCO Global Geopark. Okay, so these are the protected areas which were in use. Now the protected areas in use were Sundarbans, Mount Harriet National Park in Andaman Nicobar Islands, then Simlipal Tiger Reserve, Kasiranga National Park, Irvigala National Park, Bitarganiga, Sariska, Gangotri, Nagar Hall, Mudumalai, Netravali, Penj, Amrabad, Valmigi, Tadabanderi, Kangirgati, Gauramara, Nandafa, Melga Tiger Reserve, Kanjinga, Mukundapur Sanctuary, Flamingo City. Okay, so these were the major protected areas which were in use. Right. So you know that UPC is asking questions related to protected area. So how they are asking protected area question is, first of all they will be asking about the concept related to protected area. For example, the concept of national park, concept of wildlife sanctuary, concept of bias reserve, concept of world heritage site, okay, concept of community reserve and the conservation reserve. Okay, so they will simply ask the concept related to the protected area. And another kind of question they are asking from protected area is, they will give some names of protected area and they will ask which of the given protected areas are declared tiger reserves in India or which of the protected areas given are declared bias reserves in India. So like that question they are asking. And another pattern is they will give the name of a protected area and the state which belongs to. Okay, so we have to match it properly. Okay, so match pair question will be there. Right, so regarding the protected areas, what are the main point you have to study is the location of that protected area, the main animal protected there, then if any river is flowing through that, you have to know about it. Then, if it belongs to any hill range, you have to know it. Okay. For example, Kasiranga National Park is famous for the one horned rhinoceros. And the river which is passing through the Kasiranga are Brahmavatra River as well as the Diflo River. Okay. Then, regarding the Amarabad Tiger Reserve, it is located in the Nalamala Hills. Right. So, like that, hill range also they can ask. Okay. And Nagar Hall National Park, it is a part of Nilagiri Bias Reserve. Right. Then, Irregular National Park is famous for the Nilagiri Tar an animal, right. Then Sundarbans is famous for the tigers, right. And Kanjitanga National Park, it is the mixed world heritage site in India, right, and which is in Sikkim. And Mugundabur Sanctuary, it is the world's first white tiger sanctuary, Mugundabur Sanctuary, which is located in the Madhya Pradesh, right. And Flamingo City, it is in Gujarat, right. And Nandafa National Park, it is in the northeast in Arunachal Pradesh, where we are having the flying squirrel, Nandafa flying squirrel. Right. So, these were some protected areas which were in use last time. Then some international days was also there in use. Earth Day, Earth Overshoot Day, World Environment Day, then World Wetland Day. Okay. These were some days which was in use related to environment. Now, these are some miscellaneous topics which were in use last year. Project Lion and Project Dolphin. Which was in use because on the Independence Day, the Prime Minister have announced the launch of Project Lion and Project Dolphin. Okay. So, we know that India is already having Project Tiger and Project Elephant, right. Now, the Lion and Dolphin is also going to benefit through a scheme, Project Lion and Project Dolphin, okay. So, it was in news. So, you need to know about the Project Lion and Project Dolphin. Then, with regard to that, you also need to know about Project Elephant and Project Tiger, okay. So, this uh, Project Elephant was in news because on the World Elephant Day on August 12, the Ministry have released some strategies to reduce the human elephant conflict. Okay, so that's why Project Elephant was in news. Then another topic which was in news was mineral accretion technology or the biorock. So biorock technology is a technique to restore the or to conserve the coral reef structures. Okay, in order to protect and conserve the coral reef structures, we are having our coral reef ecosystem, we are having a technique called as biorock or mineral accretion technology. Okay. Then Miyawaki Forest was in news. Then peatlands was in use. So you need to know about the role of peatlands in tackling the climate change. So these peatlands can store more amount of carbon. Okay. Then we are having blue flag certification. Already we discussed about the foundation for environment education, right? So blue flag certification was given to some eight beaches in India. So you need to know about blue flag certification. What are the criteria for awarding this blue flag certification? Okay, the eight sites in India, right? Then you need to know about the methods used in tiger census. Okay, we know that India is having the more number of tigers, right, and we are conducting the tiger census, right. So, you need to know about the methods used in tiger census. For example, already UPC asked a question regarding the M stripes, okay. So, it is one of the methods used in the tiger census. Other methods are SER, M stripes, extract compare, polygon search method, okay. So, you need to know about this tiger census, right. And one point you have to note down is only the adult members of the tigers are counted. The cubs are not counted in the tiger census. So, that's a 
point you have to remember regarding the tiger sensors okay the cubs are not counted in the tiger sensors then you need to know about the cheetah reintroduction program who is the authority to do cheetah reintroduction program and what are the landscapes assessed for the cheetah reintroduction like the navradehi sanctuary kuno wildlife sanctuary okay then you need to know about the environmental performance index invasive species and alien species because we discussed about some invasive species to india right so you need to know about the difference between invasive and alien species okay so these were the main topics related to environmental science in news in 2020 and 2021 okay so comparatively the topics were less in these years okay but there were lots of news related to environmental science topic in 2018 and 19 okay so right now i am going to discuss about the topics which were in news in 2018 and 19 because that is also important for your prelims examination okay because sometimes ups is asking questions from the current affairs which were in news two years back also okay so that's why i am going to list out important environment science current affairs topics from 2018 and 19 okay so these are the animals which were in news in past years from 2018 onwards okay chiru or tibetan antelope was in news okay then pashmina goat or changra or changtangi so that is another name of pashmina goat so regarding this animal you need to know why they are hunted why they are poached this chiru or tibetan antelope is hunted for getting the under fur that under fur is used to make the world's finest shawl called as shadu shawl okay so like that you have to know the threat for that animal then pearl spot was in news pearl spots you need to know where these pearl spots are located okay it is found in the backwaters of kerala and what is the role of pearl spot in the economy right then halu gibbon in which region of india we ha are having the halu gibbon mainly in the northeast then musk deer why musk deer are hunted then sangha deer or dancing deer it is endemic to the locked lake to the cable lunch national park in manipur right and they are grazing on the floating vegetation called as pumdis okay then hangul or kashmir stag orangutan these were the animals which were in use in past year okay so you need to know regarding orangutan whether it is naturally found in india or not okay you need to know about that we know that orangutan is not naturally found in india okay then the plants which were in use in previous years are rhododendron nilakurinji chengurinji sandalwood baobab living road bridges pachachedi jatropha carcass cage tree macrophytes okay so regarding macrophytes you need to know what are the macrophytes what are the types of macrophytes okay macrophytes simply means the aquatic plants okay we are having three types of macrophytes uh, floating submergent and emergent okay so you need to know about macrophytes what is the role of macrophytes in maintaining the ecology ecosystem okay because they are controlling the nutrient level of the aquatic ecosystem okay so they have a good role in maintaining the ecology balance of aquatic ecosystem okay now the indian organization which was in use in past years are bombay natural history society national ganga council wildlife conservation trust forest advisory committee so this forest advisory committee is just a advisory committee of the government of india to give advice for the clearance activities okay then international organization and treaties which was in use are international environment assembly okay unea so everyone knows about the unep right so you need to know what is this unea okay so what is the relation between unep and unea you have to know right so unea simply is the governing body of unep okay then you need to know about ipcc green climate fund cartagena protocol on biosafety stockholm conference save consortium okay save consortium is a initiative to conserve the vulture species right then basel convention rotterdam convention montreal protocol cats partnership okay conservation assured tiger standard partnership that's a form of cats partnership so it is simply for the protection of tiger landscapes okay cats is for the protection of tiger landscapes there are some stringent standards to be met by tiger standards okay so india is having one site which got the cats partnership uh, award that is lansdowne forest division in india okay it is in uttarakhand okay now the environment minister have announced that uh, we are going to adopt cats standards in our tiger reserves we know that around 50 tiger reserves are there in india and our environment minister announced that we are going to adopt the standards of cats to our tiger reserves okay that's why it was also there news then world organization for animal health undertook coalition mangrove for the future for the protection of mangroves global peatland initiative Brazil declaration okay so these were some topics which was in news last years 
Okay. Now the concepts related to pollution which was in news in past years in 2018 and 19 are geoengineering, hydroponics technique, phytoremediation, biomethanation, fatbergs, petroleum coke or peat coke, blue gas desulfurization, fly ash, firecrackers and green crackers. So this you need to know about some chemicals in the firecrackers because you may have banned some chemicals which are used in the firecrackers. So you need to know what are the chemicals which are banned in the firecrackers in India. Okay. And also you need to know about the green crackers. Okay. Then sulfur dioxide. Okay. And in order to remove the sulfur content from the uh, exhaust of the thermal power plants and all, we are having this flue gas desulfurization technique. Okay. Then centrifuges and landfills. You know what is this sanitary landfills? Okay. From this sanitary landfills, the leachates and emanating gases are emerging. Leachates means some kind of liquids, okay, which are coming out from the landfills. And emanating gases are some gases which is coming out from the poisonous gas which is coming out from the landfills. Right. Then mercury and Minamada convention. Okay. Since it was in news, you need to know about the features of mercury. Okay, mercury is the only metallic element which, which is in the liquid state at room temperature, right? So, like that, you need to know about the features. Then non phenyl, it's a kind of pollutant, microbeads. Okay. UPC already asked a question regarding the microbeads. Okay. Last time also I discussed about the microbeads in the important topic. Okay. So UPC asked a question regarding the microbeads. Ash track mobile application. In order to track the ash availability from the thermal power plants, we are having mobile application called as ash track. Then Vayu, that means wind augmentation and purifying unit. Then greater response action plan or GRAP, which is practiced mainly in the Delhi region, Delhi NCR region. Then RUKO, that means repurpose used cooking oil initiative. Okay, these were some concept which were in news associated with pollution in the past years in 2018 and 19. And there are some concepts which were in news like cold CP ecosystem, kelp forest. Okay, so you need to know about what is this cold CP ecosystem and what is kelp forest and where are they located. Okay. Then coral bleaching, biodiversification, allelopathy, iterative evolution. So it's a concept, right? So you need to know about what is this iterative evolution, okay? And where it was recently occurred in Madagascar region, uh, this iterative evolution was occurred. So that's why it was in news and all. So you need to know about what is this iterative evolution. Then carbon footprint. Then you need to know about difference between bioaccumulation, bioconcentration, and biomagnification. Then trophic cascade. Then the camp flog and mimicry, you need to know about the difference between camp flog and mimicry. Then sexual dimorphism and color morphism. Then water footprints like the grey water footprint is there, blue water footprint is there and green water footprint is there. So you need to know about what is this concept called as water footprint and what are the types of water footprints. Okay. So these are the other concepts which were in use. Okay. Now here are some miscellaneous topics which were in use past years. Now Pyrivesh, it's a web based single window system in order to bring the transparency in giving clearance. Okay. So that is Pyrivesh. Then Ecomark certification or eco labeling was in news. Then green core rating or green company rating, starter rating for cities, global wetland outlook. Regarding global wetland outlook, you need to know who is the authority and who is releasing this global wetland outlook. Okay. And what is the relation between global wetland outlook and Ramsar convention? You need to know about that. Okay. Then Jadayu Conservation Breeding Center, it was in use. So you need to know about, so it's an example for Vulture Conservation Breeding Center, VCBC. So Jadayu Conservation Breeding Center is an example for VCBC, Vulture Conservation Breeding Center. So you need to know where it is located. Then Management Effective Evaluation, then Kambala, Jellicate, Kalabut, National Wildlife Action Plan, Coastal Regulation Zone Rules, National Action Plan on Climate Change. Okay. And there are eight national missions under this NAPCC. So you need to know about the eight national missions under the National Action Plan on Climate Change. Then Mission Innovation, Integrated Tiger Con Habitat Conservation Program, Integrated Development of Wildlife Habitat Scheme. Under this Integrated Development of Wildlife Habitat Scheme, we are having a program called as Recovery Program for Critical Endangered Species. And there are some species in India which are included in this Recovery Program for Critical Endangered Species. For example, Gangeti Dolphin. Okay. So you need to know about the animals which are listed in this Recovery program for critically endangered species. Okay. Then other topics are Operation Save Kurma, Operation Olivia. Okay. Operation Save Kurma is for the protection of turtles and Operation Olivia for the protection of olive turtles. Then Plan B for the conservation of uh, elephants in India. Okay. For the 
in order to avoid the railway accidents of elephants we are having plan b then immemorial project govardhan scheme no more 50 is a campaign road kill mobile application okay in order to identify the regions where maximum number of road kills of wildlife is happening happening we are having a mobile based application called as road kills application so that is trying to reduce the uh, road accidents of wild animals then gaja report which is news okay so gaja report uh, as per the recommendation of this gaja report only we have india have declared the elephant as the national heritage animal of india right then green good deeds vermin category so you know now about what is this vermin declaration under which law of india we are declaring the vermin okay then operation clean art then regarding the tranquilization of animal okay what are the procedure for tranquilizing an animal and under which law we have the provision to tranquilize an animal okay this all things you have to know regarding the tranquilization then e green watch satat initiative breathe life a campaign for clean air then echo network biogas and bagas regarding bagas and fat bugs they are used for the energy industry okay so you know about what is bagas it's a leftover residue of the sugarcane industry bagas okay then grace green silence for the conservation of eastern guards okay then echo nivas one more hertz of griha a building rating system okay so these were other miscellaneous topics other topics which was in news okay so these are the main topics which were in news in 2018 and 19 and we already discussed about the topics which are in news in 2020 also right so these are the topics from environmental science which you have to prepare before attending the 2021 prelims examination okay so i have discussed about the current affairs topics from 2018 and 19 and earlier i discussed about the topics from 2020 and 2021 right so in the 2021 topics i only discussed about minimum number of topics okay and there are some more environmental science topic which was in news in 2020 and 2021 those topics i will release in a separate video part 2 video of this most important topics okay and these all topics which i have mentioned in the 2020 and 2021 will be discussed in our current affairs plus program okay thank you